All right, so let's go through the impulse with the microscope attachment. I haven't seen any videos on the internet that do this, so hopefully if you're considering this upgrade, you'll find this video helpful. Let me show you what you get. All right, so you've got the um, IP sort of module here that's gonna screw into the base with this set screw right here. So this piece actually comes off um, and it's great because it allows you when you're breaking it down to not have this overly bulky sort of situation. It actually folds up really nicely. Um, so when you're putting it together, literally all you're doing is taking this one um, sort of magnifying module off and putting it onto the arm through that one screw. Um, this right here is your focus adjustment. Boom. And I don't know if I can get a view looking through what you see. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so let me show you what it looks like when it fires. Tricky. Focus. So you can't really appreciate on this video um, how magnified and sort of like close up this is. Uh, it, it's just not as impressive through the iPhone video, but you, when you look at this thing in real life, you you will you will notice that it is like you're inside your your welding and your jump ring. And um, quickly, this is the arm. This is the. Uh, the attachment to the to the table you can also not use this and screw it actually directly through your table if you want to drill your workbench and it's got this really neat handy cable tie system where you can just kind of like route your your cables through there which is cool and then you can actually route them up through the arm as well these plastic pieces come off and you can route your cable all the way through i break mine down so i don't use that but uh yeah and then coming down to the stylus um there's just one set screw back here that allows you to move this in and out so you can pop it out easily if you need to you can change the uh, electrode without taking this whole thing apart. You just, I usually just loosen that, slide it down, and it's just, you know, hard to do one-handed, but just pops off just like that. And then you can change it and put it back on pretty easily. Yeah, so that's the microscope attachment, um, super powerful. All right, so why do you need this? Well, two reasons. One, the biggest problem that people have when they are struggling to weld especially small things, is that you can't do what you're doing. Um, there are uh, magnifying glasses that I, pretty much everyone is using and they're freehand welding and some of them are even like 10X magnification. And I would say that those work pretty well. Um, the issue with that is what do you do when you put your glasses on, right? So for sure you need a ton of task light. You need, uh, now you're talking about either multiple glasses, either your welding glasses, and then your magnifying glasses or a magnifying thing. So there's just a lot of stuff that you are trying to, to do to mimic what this does, right? And even though you have these welding, these are just sunglasses, but if you have welding glasses, they're probably not dark enough. And after a thousand, 2000 welds, when you're really busting this business out, I don't know, man, I, I did with the old system with shade five and shade six, I've tried all of the glasses. And even after doing, you know, I don't know, maybe five, six, 700 people, which would probably equivalent maybe 1,000 or more actual sparks flying. But I did feel like my eyes were like being affected and it could just be mental in my own brain. But the fact that this blacks out when it fires and you don't have to worry about it and it allows you to be very fluid in your business. So. You may have people waiting in line. You may need to answer questions. You're not being like, you know, working like this, flipping your glasses up, taking your loop off or however you're doing it. You're just looking in the microscope and then boom, answering questions, talking to your client. You can have eye contact. You're not like fumbling for glasses. It solves so many problems, but let me show you the problem that it solves the best. Like the, re the, the reason that this system is the most amazing system that you know, for PJ, in my opinion, that you can that you can buy. And that is this simple fact. The articulating arm allows you to move this thing up and out of the way. Right? So this, you can have your conversation with your with your uh, client just like this, right? And they have their wrist out just like this. And now you can bring this thing in. Okay, there, you can set your jump rings or, or get your link all set exactly how you, how you want it. The customer has not moved. 
they're steady. And now you can bring your stylus in and down to where you need it, okay? When you're using the other ADLs, typically what you have to do is you actually have to move their wrist under that you know, apparatus. It's possible to do it all in one go where you can kind of try to move the screen, but it's really hard to get your pliers and your hands in there, you know, and then sort of raise it up to the stylus on those ADLs. I mean, I can tell you having done it, it's there's there's problems that happen. And the, and add that to the fact that you can't really ever see what you're doing. I don't care how much red Sharpie that you put on your joint. You can't get in there and see what you're doing like you can with this thing. So I can't sell it enough. I mean, this is the best, safest, best for your eyes, best quality way that you, you, you know, that you can do permanent jewelry for sure. And I use this welder for lots of stuff besides permanent jewelry, but, um, you know, you, you will be able to weld links and wire down to 28 gauge confidently, right? That's just something you can't do with the Amazon welder and it's really hard to do with even a magnifying glass. Um, so if you want to weld links and you want to stop using jump rings, um, this is, this is what you should buy. Don't even, don't hesitate. If you can get it while you, um, are buying the impulse or the PJ welder, that's the best because it's cheaper. When you buy it standalone, it's like a thousand dollars, which I know is like a lot to swallow. Um, but honestly, even for a thousand dollars, if I already had the impulse, I would say with a hundred percent certainty, it's worth it. I would spend a thousand dollars 10 times over. Um, it literally makes the business in my opinion possible. You know, you're going to have so many fewer breaks. You're going to have so many fewer times when you're just like wiggling that jump ring, just wondering if it's, if it's welded, you can see what you're doing, right? You can see that it's welded. And I wish I could show you a better view um, on camera what that looks like, but you're looking, you can see the puddle of metal melt together. I mean, there is no question. I don't even test my jump rings anymore, right? I weld it. It's like, you know, and like, I just look at it and I know it's done. <clears throat> you can twist it and see if the weld is all the way through the jump ring. You know, sometimes you have that jump ring and you just, just the top. Now, if you imagine this is the wire, just the top part here is welded. The bottom is like loose. You can't see that with a magnifying glass, like one of those like, you know, gooseneck ones. With this, you can, you know, and you can actually even change these eyepieces. I think these are wide view, uh, wide field 5X. You can go bigger, you know, these are, this is a 30 millimeter um, eyepiece holder, whatever, and these just unscrew and you can, you can fix that, which is awesome. So there you have it, happy welding. I hope this was helpful. Mention down in the comments if you use this or if you're thinking about getting it or if you have questions about it, uh, please let me know. Um, yeah, happy welding.